Hello everybody, this is Dee from Dee's Delicious Bites, and I'm back, I'm back, I'm back, back, back with another video, mukbang and cooking show, so everybody let's go, check out my video, if you wanna get it right, come join Delicious Bites, check it, check it, video, check out my video. Welcome back to my channel, everyone. If you're new here, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell as well so you never miss out on another delicious bite. And if you've been in it for a minute, I thank you so, so much for coming on back. Father God, I thank you for this meal that I'm about to receive. Lord Jesus, I thank you for blessing my friends, family, and subscribers and keeping them safe throughout the week. Father God, I ask that you would bless this food, make it nourishing to my body and my body to your service in Jesus' name. I thank and praise you for everything, every single day. Amen. So you guys, I am back with another mukbang, and today I finally got around to doing my shrimp taco. So let's get at it, because I'm hungry, as always. I'm going to be trying this Jardine Street taco sauce, red chili and tomatillo. There it is, and this is hot, so they say. I am drinking my coconut and pineapple sparkling ice. This is the water that I told you guys about that I really don't like coconut things, but that water is really that good that I am drinking it. So let's try this sauce out. My mouth is watering, y'all. How have you all been doing? It got a little kick on it. I ain't going to play with it too much. Just gonna add a little bit, a little bit, a little bit, a little bit. I set that to the side. I got some extra shrimp sitting to the side that didn't fit in here. I am going to squeeze on some of this lime juice, some of this fresh lime, and give you guys the first delicious bite. There you go, family. Get your bite. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, that's good. Mm hmm. Mm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yum. Today is Monday. It'll be Tuesday when you get this video. Mm. It is my last day of vacation. I'm back to work tomorrow. This is so good. You guys, I have guac on here. Like, I bought the holy guacamole. I've never tried it. It is good. Why didn't somebody tell me? Mm. I have lettuce, tomato, cilantro, green onion, sour cream, squeeze of lime, and this Jardine Street taco sauce. I sauteed the shrimp in garlic, avocado oil, salt. Taco Bell taco seasoning. Mm. That was it. It was all I did. And it was so good. <laughs> mm. Mm. How's everybody doing today? I hope you are doing well. 
Mm. Blessed and highly favored. Mm -hmm. I pray you had a wonderful weekend. I didn't get done nothing. Not the, <laughs> nothing I said I was going to get done. I didn't do none of it. Mm -hmm. Oh, and I have on some, I have some cheese on here too. Some Monterey Jack cheese. Mm -mm. Colby Jack. That's what it is. Y'all, this is good. Shrimp tacos are the best to me. Mm, mm, mm. Y'all see all that seasoning on that shrimp? You see it? You know it's good. Look at Kay's balloon she sent me for my birthday. Y'all see it back here? That balloon still trying to make it. <laughs> mm. It's been back there since May. So I don't know what kind of helium they use, but it, it hung on for a long time. That's good and cold. Mm, mm, mm. So you guys, comment down below. How do you feel about entanglements? Being entangled. What what does that mean to you? What what is that? That's what we call it now? Entanglement? Hmm. Just just curious. How do you feel about that? Could you or would you or have you, to your knowledge anyway, put it that way, ever been in an open relationship?
And some people walk around in an open relationship and they don't know it. <laughs> they, they don't know that that's what that is. But could you, would you consent to being in such an entanglement? That's not for me. I just, you know, not my thing. Mm. 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 But a lot of people have opinions about it. And, you know, when your business is out there, it's no longer your business. That's the one thing about social media. If you don't want somebody to know something about you or to comment on something about you, don't put it out there. Because it's up for grabs once you do. Although, the entanglement wasn't put out there by the people in Tango, or at least not by two of the people in Tango. And one of the people felt the need to speak on it, and then the other two people had to come out and give their side of it. I've been hearing it on the radio all day. When I was out and about, going to my eye exam and going to Myers. It's all that's on the radio in between every song. I mean, everybody free to live their life how they want, do you? But I just want to know how you guys feel about that. I can't, I don't want to do that. One person is all I need. And if I am no longer happy with that one person, it's time to move on from that one person before you start an entanglement with another person. For me. That's, that's my thing. I ain't judging, I'm just telling you about myself, what I would or would not do. Mm, mm -hmm. Y'all, my daughter brought me a lobster tail that's so big. I don't even know what I'm about to do with it. I don't know if I just want to broil it, grill it, make lobster mac and cheese with it. I mean, it's huge. So, you guys, I need your help. Comment down below. Let me know what y'all think I should do with this lobster, this big old lobster tail. Should I just cook it and do some beloved sauce and do a mukbang with it? Or should, I mean, like a, a seafood boil with it? Or, excuse me, or should I turn it into something else? Should I do like lobster mac and cheese with it? I, I just don't know. It's just huge. Any suggestions? Let me know. Oh. Mm. 
today was a nice day. It was like hot, but not so hot you couldn't stand to be outside. It wasn't devil spit hot. That's what I call it when it's so hot you can't breathe. It wasn't that hot. It was actually nice. Mm -hmm. So good. Mm. Mm. Wow. Oh, or should I make a lobster roll with it? I just don't know. It's just so big. I don't know. Does that help me out? I have an Amazon package coming today. And it was the vinyl squares for my daughter's silhouette that I ordered because she's going to be making me merch. So I went over to her house to drop those off to her. My grandbaby was in the pool wanting to show me all the things she can do. She's like, Nana, are you staying? I'm like, mm-mm, girl. I'm going home. I ain't ate yet today. I'm getting hangry. <laughs> she said, okay, Nana. Mm -mm. I have my mask on and I was definitely more than six feet away because they were in the pool. I was standing in the yard trying not to get splashed. So social distancing was observed. My daughter says she's been in that pool all day. Mm. So she came out to eat and went back in there. And it's a good size pool. It was the size she was looking for at Walmart and on Amazon when she couldn't find one. And I'm just telling you, somebody gave them that pool. Somebody, um, was cleaning out a house of a family member and emailed or messaged them and asked them had they found a pool yet and they said no and she said well I got one you can have gave it to them they spent no coin on that pool mm. Went from not being able to find one to getting one for free. Look at God. Okay? Look at him. I didn't even have to spend no money and got a pool for them babies for free. God is good all the time and all the time God is good. That's not happenstance, coincidence, or luck. That's God moving in your life. Even now, in times like this, the blessings are still falling down. The blessings are still out there to be had. He's still dropping blessings on you. In the midst of all this mess. So when I see a blessing, or I receive a blessing, I speak on it. I want everybody to know. Because that will give you positivity and give you hope. Blessings are still abundant for God's 
people. Mm. 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 Go to the last drop. We're gonna get into this good work. Because you know my time will be on ran out and I'll be mad. This is Jesus Calling, Enjoying Peace in His Presence by Sarah Young. This is her book. <clears throat> Food chewed up. This comes from Psalms 89, chapter 15 through the 16th verse, and Psalms 16, chapter 8, verse, and 2 Peter, 1st chapter, 2nd verse. This is Sarah's spin on it. Live first and foremost in my presence. Gradually, you will become more aware of me than of people and places around you. This awareness will not detract from your relationships with others. Instead, it will increase your ability to give love and encouragement to them. My presence will permeate your words and demeanor. Excuse me. You will be active in the world, yet one step removed from it. You will not be easily shaken because my enveloping presence buffers the blow of problems. This is the path I have set before you. As you follow it wholeheartedly, you experience abundant life and peace. Amen. All right, you guys, that is the good word for today. I truly hope it touched your heart. I hope it encouraged you and I hope it helped. I'm going to bring this video to a close. As always, I believe you're capable of amazing things. You just have to believe it too. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Tell all your friends about these delicious bites so that maybe they'll stop by and have a delicious bite with me as well. Share me out, share me out, share me out, guys. So until I see you and you see me, be beautiful, be blessed, be safe. Be the best you that you can possibly be. I love you guys so, so much. And I will see you in my next one. Hey, my very next one. Bye, guys. I'll see you tomorrow in another video.